Hello everyone, I am Partha. Today I will try to explain why the musical instruments have their own unique tone color. For example, if someone plays a guitar or a flute or a harmonium, just by listening to the sound we can say what instrument it is. Let me give you an example. I will play a note on a few musical instruments and see how different the sounds are. Uh, this is note B. Now, if we measure the frequency of this note played in these different instruments, we will find the same frequency. So what gives the uniqueness to this sound? Why the sounds are so different in these different instruments? So in order to understand that, uh, we have to revise a few basic concepts about standing waves. We know that if two waves of same frequency and amplitude coming from opposite directions interfere, they produce a standing wave. In a standing wave, there are some points where amplitude is always zero. These points are called nodes. And there are some points where amplitude is always maximum. These points are called antinodes. Formation of these standing waves is a very common phenomena in musical instruments. Similar to a guitar string, let us consider a string fixed at both ends. Now, if we plug the string, the wave will be reflected back and forth in the walls and a standing wave will be produced. But as the ends of the string are fixed to the walls, the end points must always be nodes. So the string can allow only certain frequencies known as resonance frequencies, natural frequencies or normal frequencies. Now this can be one possibility. This is known as fundamental frequency. This is the second possibility. This is known as second harmonic or first overtone. This is one more possibility. This is known as third harmonic or second overtone and so on. There can be n number of harmonics. When we plug a string, all these different harmonics can act simultaneously producing a combined wave pattern. Now when we play a note on a musical instrument, all the harmonics are played at once. Let me show you. I'll play the same note again, B. Now see what happens. The spikes you see here are the different harmonics. The first one is the fundamental frequency. But the strengths of the other harmonics are also not negligible. Now let me convince you that these spikes are harmonics. On a flute, by changing the pressure of the air blow, we can achieve the harmonics. I have closed all the holes. First I will play the fundamental frequency or the first harmonic. Then I will play two more harmonics. Let's see. Now look at this. At the beginning of the video, I played the note B on four musical instruments. Now let's see the harmonic patterns of these instruments. In all these four instruments, the pattern of the harmonics is completely different and that's what makes the instrument unique. 